Hi, I am Alex, an IT guy talking the whole day with computers. After spending some years in data modeling, data warehousing, basically playing around with data in different ways, I found out that is not just the tools that help you have a successful project. I think having an interaction with the team members and working as a cohesive team can sometimes have a bigger impact than just the tools. So I was wondering, how can you understand all your team members? How can you have a cohesive team? Wondering, wondering, and I start searching until I came across something interesting. And that was DISC framework. I learned about it, got certified, starting applying it. And at some point, I noticed that in the team that I was working, we are able to bridge the gap between business and IT. You know, that eternal gap. So I learned more and I started sharing my experience with my peers. That's why I would like to present this framework, this DISC framework to all of you at Data Modeling Zone. Alex said that he's the IT guy. I am Gabby. And what I bring on the table in this case study is that I bring the psychology and the neuroscience that explains why and how this works. He said that this is a framework and I like it because it's easy to explain, easy to understand, easy to apply with high results. As Alex said, people don't work in a box. We need to work with other people. And when we work with other people, we realize something that people are different, but they are predictably different. Let's take it like this. If you, how, if you approach a lion, a hungry lion, the same way you approach a hungry puppy, somebody might get hurt. The same way is with people. If we approach them the way they need to be approached, we have a successful relationship. But if we don't do this, Things don't work as we want. If you are a manager, a team leader, if you need to negotiate with clients, this is what we are going to discuss in the case study. We are going to see what to look and what to listen for, how to decode it, what it means, and how to respond and approach people that are different how from us. How can you use it? So this is a framework that helps you better understand people. You know, in data modeling, you have different data types that you treat differently. The same is with people. So you can use it in different ways. First, I like to learn about it and use it on myself. And I would like to give you an example about it. So we all react to stress, but we all react differently to stress. And you are wondering, how do I react to stress. If I'm thinking about, usually when I'm in a stressful situation, I would like to get more, more, more information to be sure that I will get the right uh, information, the right decision and or the perfect one. But that takes a lot of time. And sometimes I don't have that time. So now I'm aware about it and I use time boxing to be able to get the best information in the time that I have in order to meet the deadline. Different people react to stress differently. Maybe you have a boss that starts yelling and he wants the results now. Maybe you have somebody that uh, talks a lot and just is on stage, talks, uh, we want that, uh, la, la. Maybe you have somebody else that freezes. What we'll do in this session, we'll show you some examples and how to identify different kinds of people with different stress reactions. We are going in this session to discuss also how to apply this in teams with a whole team. Because when we apply it in a team, what we are going to notice is this, that increases trust, transparency, 
and accountability. And as a result, people don't step on each other's toes and they act as a safety net. And in this way, they are able to achieve higher results, faster results with less stress and waste of time than other teams. Keep in mind that teams make the project work. So see you at Data Modeling Zone Europe in November online. Bye-bye.